I use biomedical engineer and material scientist interchangeably because I studied material science and engineering under the umbrella of biomedical engineering. So when I got to college, when I got to undergrad, there were four different paths that I could take. There was like the pre-med kids, a lot of pre-med kids. I would not recommend you do biomedical engineering for pre-med though, unless you really like math and physics. Then there were mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, and materials and tissue engineers. So for my undergrad senior design project, we made, we synthesized bioglass, which is a form of synthetic bioactive ceramic. It interacts with cells like the precursor to bone wood. So we were going to use it because it's also antibacterial, antimicrobial. Yeah, lots of great stuff. For my master's thesis, I made a dual characterization system for microbubble contrast agents, which are contrast agents that are used for ultrasound microscopy. So I got a little bit in, more into mechanical engineering doing the ultrasound aspect of that, but I had to formulate and make lipid shell microbubbles all the time. So I was also working with like different formulations of chemicals and stuff. There's lots of chemistry, there's biology to a degree because you're working in human biological systems, like the human body is a biological system and that's what we're working in. But in my grad degree, in my undergrad degree, I had to take a lot of material science courses, I had to do a lot of materials characterization, I had to do a lot of labs characterizing different materials, doing different measurements, learning how to use equipment to characterize different materials. And in doing that, I learned a lot of inherent properties of materials. So I use my background and apply it to cosmetics. So I'm not like a cosmetic chemist or anything like that. I don't formulate cosmetics specifically, but I understand all of the components.